1 plus 4 plus 8 plus 13 up to n terms, what is the sum of this? We have to find out sum of this series. What is the sum of n terms of this series? Now, if we look at these numbers, we see that these numbers are not in arithmetic progression. They are not in geometric progression. But if you look at the difference of the numbers, you have 3 here, you have 4 here, you have 5 here. These numbers are in arithmetic progression. That means, if you are able to write down the given series and shift it and subtract them, so that you can get the difference of the terms, then they are in AP. So, let us see now how to find out the sum of n terms of this series. First, let us write down sum of n terms is given by 1 plus 4 plus 8 plus 13 plus like that we will go. Then we will have n minus 1 term then n term. Now, let us write down again same Sn, but this time we will shift it by shift it to right side by 1, we will have 1 plus 4 plus 8 plus T n minus 1 plus T n. Now, let us subtract them and see what happens. Here we will have 0, this will be 1, this will be minus, so 4 minus 1, this will be minus, then 4, this will be minus, so this will be 5, like that. We have finally minus Tn. Let us bring that Tn to left side, we will have nth term is given by 1 plus, let us put them in bracket which are in AP, 3 plus, 4 plus, 5, like that how many terms will be there? n minus 1 terms will be there because 1 term is not considered. Now, let us use sum of n terms of arithmetic progression formula. So, Tn is given by 1 plus, what is the formula for An of Sn of arithmetic progression that is given by n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Here our a is 3, common difference is 1 and n is n minus 1. Let us substitute 1 plus n by 2 that is n minus 1 by 2 into 2a 2 into 3 plus n minus 1 that is n minus 1 minus 1 into d which is equals to 1. Let us simplify that that is 1 plus n minus 1 by 2 into 2 3s are 6, 6 plus n minus 2 that is n plus 4 which is equals to 1 plus n minus 1 into n plus 4 divided by 2. Now, let us cross check whether what we got is correct or not. Substitute n equals to 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, so our first term is 1. Substitute n equals to 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 plus 4 is 6, 1 into 6 by 2 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, second term is also fine. Let us go to the third term, we should get 8, so 1 plus n minus 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 into 3 plus 4 is 7, 2 into 7 by 2, 2, 2 will cancel, 1 plus 7 is 8. Let us look at fourth term, we should get 13, that is the last verification we are checking. So, n is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 into 8 by 2, which is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13. So, we got our nth term, we got the formula for the nth term. So, let us write down Tn equals to 
वन प्लस एन माइनस वन इंटू एन प्लस फोर डिवेडेड बाई टू नाउ लेट एस सिंपलीफाई दिस सो वी विल फाइंड आउट टी एन इक्वल्स टू टू प्लस एन माइनस वन इंटू एन प्लस फोर डिवेडेड बाई टू दैट्स इक्वल्स टू टू प्लस एन स्क्वेर प्लस फोर एन माइनस एन माइनस फोर डिवेडेड बाई टू विच इज इक्वल्स टू एन स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री एन माइनस टू बाई टू नव वी नो दैट एस एन ईक्वल्स टू टी वन प्लस टी टू सेकेंड टर्म थर्ड टर्म लाइक दैट वी हैव टू एड ऑन द एन टर्म्स so first let us see what is our t1 t1 equals to 1 square by 2 plus 3 into 1 by 2 minus 2 by 2 what we did in place of n we substituted n equals to 1 what will be t2 t2 will be 2 square by 2 plus 3 into 2 by 2 minus 2 by 2 what will be t3 3 square by 2 plus 3 into 3 by 2 minus 2 by 2 what will be nth term let us see nth term will be n square by 2 plus 3 into n by 2 minus 2 by 2 now when you add all of this what's happening when we add all of this we are getting 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square that is sn equals to sigma n square by 2 because 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square is sigma n square plus 3 by 2 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n is sigma n Minus two by two, that is one. How many times we are doing it? N times. So that will be sigma one, or that is equals to n. So this is our S n, and we have to simplify this. Now, what is the formula for sigma n square? Let's write down. Sigma n square is given by n into n plus one into two n plus one divided by six, and sigma n equals to n into n plus one divided by two, sigma one equals to n, which we used already. Now let us use them and try to find out the value of s of n terms. What will be that expression? S of n equals to sigma n square by two. What is sigma n square? N into n plus one into Two n plus one divided by six plus three by two into sigma n. That is n into n plus one by two minus n. Let us take LCM. We will have n into n plus one into two n plus one plus twelve by four is three nine into n into n plus one minus twelve into n. Now let us take n by twelve out. What we have is two n plus one into n plus one plus nine into n plus one. Minus twelve divided by twelve. That is equals to n by twelve into. Let's open the brackets. Two n plus one into n plus one. That is two n square plus three n plus one plus nine into n plus one. That is nine n plus nine minus twelve. Let us simplify that. That will be n by twelve into two n square. Plus twelve n minus two. That is equals to n by twelve into two 
2 n square plus 12 n minus 2 can we take 2 out we will have n square plus 6 n minus 1 and 2 and 2 will cancel so that is 2 will cancel 6 times so we will have n by 6 into n by 6 into n square plus 6 n minus 1 and that is the sum of n terms of the given series. We want to find out we can just check for the values. Let us check for S1 answer should be 1 1 by 6 into 6 that is 1 S2 should be 5. So, that is 2 by 6 1 by 3 into 2 square is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 3 plus 12 is 15 so 3 will go 5 times so we checked for s1 s2 so we got the verification correct so the sum of n terms is given by n into n square plus 6n minus 1 divided by 6